Whether you're flying in or arriving by sea, Kangaroo Islanders say they need your support. That message of come with an empty esky, come with an empty fuel tank, fill up here, buy um, buy stuff here, enjoy the food and wine and beverages that we have over here. Many are going ahead with trips as planned. We had arranged to go earlier in the year and uh, there was no way we were going to cancel. So we've done no grocery shopping, nothing, because we're going to do it all there just to support the, um, the locals. We called yesterday hotel to see if it's possible to come here or not and they, they said that OK, no issues with the hotel or something, so that's OK for us. But locals say the majority of tourists have already scrapped upcoming trips. Chris Schumann's had cancellations as far ahead as April and he's warning of a second disaster for the island's economy. People have lost their farms, have lost their, all of their property, but some of them have got daughters, brothers, sisters who are working in the tourism industry. So if those businesses collapse and they lose their job, the impact has just doubled down. Locals are emphasising one half of the island is still untouched and they need people to visit where and when it's safe to do so. We did survive and to go on surviving we need people to keep coming. And then of course there's the coastline which Kangaroo Island is so well known for right across the globe. And as you can see it's still very much intact. You can go swimming with the dolphins, you can go sandboarding down sand dunes, you know, you can go to the fabulous wineries, there's amazing food here on the island. And with donations coming in from across the globe, even those who spend their days fighting the flames are saying the rebuild effort will take time. For everyone to, to rebuild and, and refocus and regroup around this fire, I think there's going to need a lot of support. Support that's needed in the weeks and months to come as the island tries to rebuild.